What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with a massive box on the table. In this box is something I am very excited for and it is something I have never had on the channel, ever flown or ever seen in person, exception of one time I seen it in person, but I've never owned one, never had one and I'll give you a hint. There is only 65 of these ever made. So let's get this box opened up and let's see what we got. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. Cut the tape, let's lift it up, and it's more foam. There's an XL power canopy in there. So is this an XL power? But there is some PVC, lots of foam, lots of packaging. So let's get this thing all out of the box. It's all unboxed, the TDS. Look at this thing. I seen this at Urcha and we just had to have one. So Brian, you have an incredible helicopter here. Just look at this thing. It is a true masterpiece. The canopy itself is insane. I'm excited to get it together. So it's a complete helicopter. We got it with everything. Just need to throw an FBL unit. We are going with the V-Bar Evo and 10S setup. So we have a Pyro 868 motor, Katronic 250 HV, MKS 575 X6 servos on cyclic, and 575 X6 on tail. This is number 64, so there's only 65 of these ever made. This is number 64. It's got a very cool tail fin system. Looks a lot like what I did on my Comet. So this is everything here. So we are going to get this model assembled, get it back together, and then we're gonna go start cleaning up the wiring, getting all that stuff done, get the FBL unit in it, and getting it set up to the radio. And we have precious X-Blade 713S V2s. So we're gonna put these on later, but for the Maiden, we'll put another set of blades on because these X-Blade 713Ss are like gold and you cannot get them. So I'm gonna get this thing assembled and we'll see what it looks like. First part of reassembling this thing is getting the tail boom put back onto the mainframe, which I have never done this before. And I have to figure this out because it looks a little complicated because we have to run the top of the belt through the top, the bottom up and around this pulley here. Then it goes through these pulleys and into this main pulley here for the tail belt. So I'm going to look up the manual, try to figure this out, and we'll see what it looks like once we get the boom bolted back onto the mainframe. Got the tail boom on. I will say, definitely a little bit complicated, but once I figured it out, it really wasn't that bad. I'll flip it over and show you what I'm talking about. So you can see we have two different pulleys here, actually three, and then your tensioner pulley, which is this guy right here. So this little tensioner pulley, has the belt. So your top of your belt rides along here, goes across your pulley, boom, and then back or your main pulley, and then it runs down, goes under this pulley and around this pulley. So in order to get the belt on, you just have to remove this tensioner band, and then the pulley will drop down, and then the belt can go on there. But once you get all that, it's free and clear. And one thing about the TDS that is different than other helicopters here is that the design is a lot different, number one. Like your head is a floating head, so you can see how much play there is there. And then there's little centrifugal weights that sling out when the RPM comes up and locks the head into place rigid, and then it unlocks when you're landing. But, so you don't auto this like a regular helicopter, because you notice here, we're autoing our head, but our tail does not move. But the, the main rotor spins clockwise, and the tail spins clockwise. So your tail blades spin in to your main rotor. So it's a little different, but we got that done. We're gonna finish tightening the boom down, get tail servo hooked back up and start wiring this thing up for the V-Bar Evo. We got the tail servo hooked up there. I went ahead and put some washers behind the servo screws. They're a little big, so I'm gonna order some M2 and a halfs because I ran out. So I'm gonna put some washers, M2 and a half washers behind all the screws. And I'm gonna do the same for cyclic just because I like to have something better there than just the screw head, because I'm always afraid the screw's gonna pop out, but it can't, but that's just beside the point. So I'm gonna put some washers behind the screws or get the Torx servo grommets if they got them this size, I'm gonna do some looking. But this part is all reassembled. We are going to clean up all this wiring. We're gonna rewire this helicopter, clean it all up, heat shrink it, do the West Hobbies RC. This is the antenna mount. So this goes back just like this. Our V-bar antennas are gonna come through here and out both sides here. And we got our tail blades on. So we got the 
106 millimeter blades. These are the X blades, so X106s. They are not on backwards, the tail rotates clockwise. And you can see the head clockwise. A very different system. So let's get the canopy tossed on this thing and just see what it looks like. It is on and this thing looks incredible. Liking the look on this thing. It's all canopy. Canopy's the biggest part on the whole helicopter. We also got the antennas mounted. We got the V-Bar Evo in. I'll show you that in a second. Let's pull the canopy back off and see the fly barless. Unit. We got the fly barless unit mounted, V-Bar Evo, antennas go under through here and out. So they are spread apart. Now we are going to take all this wiring apart and clean this up. Try to make it look better, shorten the wires, make it more organized. We're gonna get onto that while we wait for some new connectors and batteries to get. So we got some of the wires got covered in heat shrink and rerouted, shortened the telemetry lead. I also extended the two front servo leads. They're really long, I'll shorten them after I get everything routed. But there was a couple of extensions here with the plugs and I don't like extensions. So I got rid of all that, made new ESC leads. So these are all new wires coming down, heat shrink those, route them, I'll cut them the length to get to here. And then we'll get a nice junction piece here, tidy all the wiring up. We got torque servo grommets coming. So we'll get those put in for all the servos and the wiring will be completed on this model. We got all of our junction of wires coming across into a big piece of heat shrink and they are all coming out here. So now I will get them all shortened and wired into our V-Bar Evo and the wiring is complete and we can move on to the servo grommets. Wiring is complete. So all of our wiring is done. Evo is all wired up. Now we have to pull the servos back out and we got our torque servo grommets. So we're going to get those installed behind all of our servos. Tail servo wire runs up. We're going to put some double-sided tape to hold the wire to the frame rail. A little bit of frame protection to stop it. We got our fabric paint on our connectors. And then we also got our RC Pro S7 solder connectors. So we're going to get those on and get the packs all soldered up and get this thing ready for radio setup. Our servo grommets are installed, so we got them all in. I found these bottom screws were too short with the spacer to space the servo properly, so I got new longer screws installed, everything loctited and tightened down. Got the battery tray on it, just so we can get the batteries positioned, figure out, again, this is 10S, so we are running two Laperior Air 5S 5000 milliamp packs for 10S. So you're going to have one pack on top, one pack on the bottom like this, and then we're going to route it with the RC Pro connectors, get rid of the S6s, go to S7s. Of course, get rid of the XT6 or 90s, go to S7s on here too. And then the top and bottom will have one short lead for the series connection and then a, a longer lead to come up and go into here. With speed helicopters, you want to really keep all your power leads as short as possible. You don't have a lot of room under the canopy. That's why everything has to be perfectly done up. So that way you can, you know, have a better direct connection. So we might have to shorten these up a lot. We might have to leave them longer. I don't know yet. We got some more Umi grip coming to go on the battery for top and bottom on the battery tray. So I'm going to go ahead, get these put onto here, figure out where everything needs to go and start soldering. Got the packs positioned to where they're going to go CG'd out perfectly. So now we're going to figure out our wiring, how much wire we need, how much we're gonna cut off. We have two sets of packs, so four batteries total. So I'll make both sets identical so we can just swap them on and off. And then we can get this thing set up on the V-Bar, get everything working and get the maiden flight in because I know I'm excited and this is a beautiful helicopter. We got all of our RC Pro S7 soldered up. We got our lead shortened, so our series connection is really short. And then we have our positive and negative. And I like to make sure all my wires are the same length. So that way you don't have a shorter run than others. So negative going to here, positive going to here. The second set of batteries is done the exact same way. Short with the orange bands is the series connection. Long is your main connection. So now it is time to set the radio and fly barless unit up. So I'm gonna grab the V-bar and start setting up on the V-controller. Just got our UMI grip down for the battery, top and bottom. We did four pieces top, four pieces bottom. This stuff is awesome. If you guys have not used this stuff yet, get it on uh, Get FPV. I'll link it in the description. Awesome, awesome stuff. An alternative to Velcro, double-sided tape, reusable, super sticky, strap your batteries in, they don't go anywhere. We also had to shorten up our power leads because of where the batteries sit, it, the connectors would have been in the way of the canopy because the canopy's real 
tight here, but it kind of goes up. So now we are going to put the batteries back in, get everything strapped down, go through this one more time, get the blades on it, and we can call this project done. Have it all set up on our V-Control. Everything is working. So now we're gonna throw the blades on it and do one final check. Got our X-Blade 713 V2s on, canopy in the background. It is ready to go. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this quick little go over video. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and remember, Patreon and PayPal are linked in every video description if you'd like to help support me. Stay tuned for the maiden flight.